Hi guys, I am Luan Skaggs and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this Dollar Tree mirror. Now this is one of the first mirrors I've ever made that my husband when he came home he said he loved the mirror. So if you guys would like to see how I made this mirror then come with me and let's get started. To connect the pieces, I'm going to be using these skewers. And to spray paint them, I'll be using the Rust-Oleum metallic spray paint. Now one of the easy way I found to spray paint these skewers is to take a foam like this and stick the skewers into the foam and that way we'll be able to get all around the skewers. While we have our skewers spray painted and drying, we'll start working on the mirror part of our project. For this project, I'll be using some of these trays from the Dollar Tree. Now I'll be cutting out the center here because we'll only be using the outside piece for this mirror. And to cut out the middle here, an X-Acto knife seems to work a lot easier than using the scissors. Now we'll go back in and clean up all these smooth edges. We only want to use the outside design for this mirror. Once I was done taking out the center from all of the trays, I took one of these Dollar Tree mirror, took out the mirror from the frame and spray painted the frame silver. Now this is how all the skewers look after they were spray painted. Now we'll arrange our first set of trays and this is how we'll position them. Once we have the trays positioned exactly where we want it to, we want to mark about an inch past the tray that we have underneath because we want to be able to hide the trays that we are going to cut underneath the tray that we have underneath and we also want to be able to have something to glue the tray onto. And once you cut the tray you could go back in and fine tune it so that it fits exactly the way you need it to. Then once you have the first one perfect, you'll use that as a template to cut the other side. We'll now set the top and bottom piece in place and we'll repeat the same process we did on the sides. Now I'm going to take the leftover pieces and put them in the corner here to round off the mirror. To hold the pieces together, I'm using this double-sided tape that I also picked up at the Dollar Tree. These command strips aren't strong and will not hold it in place for a long time, so we'll be turning over the piece and using skewers to reinforce the mirror. This is how I position the skewers in the back of the mirror.
I'll continue off camera to place the skewers in this pattern and then I'll come back. I also went ahead and put skewers in between the skewers I had before just to make sure that the mirror is really reinforced. But I'll go into the middle and cut every other one just to make sure that the middle isn't overcrowded and it would look similar to the pieces on the outside and just be a little different all the way around instead of looking like it's just one continuous piece coming from the top to the middle. And to decorate the skewers, I picked up these rhinestone stickers from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use these to decorate the skewers. Now I placed them onto the skewers using only the glue that came on the back of the sticker but as I had it on the wall, they started falling off. So I had to take it down and use hot glue. So if you're going to be using these stickers, make sure and use some hot glue or something that would keep it in place because it definitely isn't staying with the glue that comes on the back of the sticker. So I'll continue sticking the gems on all of the skewers and then I'll come back. And for some more dimension, I'll be using these flower rhinestones. I'll cut them into singular pieces and place them between the design. This is the design I'm creating with the flower rhinestones but you could create any design that you want. I'll continue doing this and I'll come back and show you what we do next. I'll also be using the flower rhinestones to decorate the frame. And in order for it to go around the frame nicely, there are two lines that hold the flower rhinestone together. We'll cut one of the line and leave the other one attached. That will make it very easy to glue around the frame. Once we are done sticking our flowers, we reattach the mirror. And to hang the mirror on the wall, the mirror that I took apart already has this little hook. So I'm going to use it to hang the mirror. Now you could use command strips or whatever you like to hang your mirror. But if you use the mirror from the Dollar Tree, you could also use the hook that comes with the mirror. Now I'm going to place the cardboard in the back and place the mirror in the front. So that would sandwich the piece that we created in the middle so it would be nice and strong. I first glued the cardboard onto the skewers in the back and I'm putting the glue only on the raised edges and in the middle. Then I'll press the cardboard into the mirror so that the middle could hold. And I've had this on my wall for months and it is holding up just fine. So if you do it this way, it would work out just fine. Now if you didn't cut the skewers, I think it would be even more secure, but this works as well. Now I'm going to clean the mirror and show you guys how it looks hanging up on the wall. And this is how the mirror looks on the wall. It is a pretty decent sized mirror for any large area that you would want to cover. Again, I love how this mirror turned out. And if this is something that you like and is something that you like to try out, let me know in the comment section down below. You know I love hearing from you guys. So bye for now, stay safe and have a blessed and awesome day.